Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Trisha and today on The Aspiring Home Cook, we're putting together a beautiful salad. This salad is perfect for summer, any time through the year. And I personally think it would look absolutely stunning on your holiday table. We're putting together a beautiful, flavorsome kale salad today. I know sometimes kale salad or even kale in itself gets a little bit of a bad rep. And personally, I can't see why. I happen to love the vegetable. I hope you try this recipe out. You'll see exactly what I mean by that. It turns out delicious. There's a little bit of prep required in terms of the kale leaves, but I'll show you all that I do to prep it. Let's get straight on to the recipe. I'll leave a link to the complete written recipe in the description box for you. I've got myself some kale here. I'm not going to use the whole bunch for today's recipe. I'll use a few stalks. Now, if you've not worked with kale before, you'll see that each of these stalks has a big thick stalk portion or a rib going through the center. That is extremely tough and we're going to discard this rib portion. We're only going to use the leafy green bit. So all I do basically is just tear out the kale leaves just like this. And place that in a bowl. These were the smaller bits at the bottom of the leaf. As we go to the top you'll notice that this is a bigger leafy portion. I'm just going to break them up into smaller pieces so that I can put them straight away into my salad and I don't have to sit and cut them up. If it's easier for you to just chop them up, you can do that as well. The whole idea is to get rid of any of the thick portions of stock and have your greens into manageable bite-sized pieces. You really don't want a salad where you've got a great big leafy piece of kale that you've got to somehow wrangle onto your fork and into your mouth. Now this salad recipe is a brilliant recipe because you can actually prep this in advance. Kale is a very sturdy green unlike lettuce or even spinach for that matter and will actually hold its own in a dressing fairly well. Now I've used about four ribs of kale and I think this is going to be enough for what I need right now. I am going to add a little more veg in with the kale. So I'd say in all that's about three cups worth maybe. Now all I'm going to do is wash this, give it a good rinse, get rid of any muddy bits and I don't have a salad spinner but if you've got a salad spinner go ahead and dry them out. I'm just going to leave it to drain in a little strainer. So I've got my washed kale draining off over here. We can actually start prepping the rest of our ingredients. Today we're going to use a little bit of red cabbage and I'm going to use some carrot as well. Now. Here there's really no major prep required. You're just going to thinly slice that purple cabbage. For me, it's a personal preference to have these sliced nice and thinly. And you can decide how much or how little you want to put in your salad. I'll start out with that much and see how I go. If I need to add more, I can just as easily do that. And the carrots, I'm just going to leave them unpeeled. You can peel them if you'd like. I'm just going to use my box grater and break these down. I'm using two smallish carrots like you can see here. I'm using the, th uh, the slightly thicker grate on this one because I want a little texture running through that salad. So that's my vegetable all prepped. Now to add a little more texture and a variety of flavor to the salad, I'm using about a quarter cup of dried cranberries. I picked these up at Kohl's. These are the apple juice infused cranberries. There's no sugar used in this, so it's sweetened with that apple juice. And I've got about a quarter of a cup of walnuts. While I've got my chopping board out, I'm just going to roughly chop these walnuts into slightly smaller, more manageable pieces. The dressing as well is really simple. I've got one large clove of garlic here. I'm not going to use the whole lot for a quantity like this. I'll probably need just about half a clove of garlic. And this has got to be grated really fine or cut down as fine as possible. No one likes a whole mouthful of garlic or a big chunk of garlic in this salad. So I'm just going to dash that garlic up and cut it as fine as I possibly can. So I've got myself a little bowl to prep that salad dressing in. 
in goes half a clove of garlic that we just chopped up. Now to this, I'm going to add two types of mustard today. I'm going to use a whole grain mustard. So I've got about a quarter teaspoon of that whole grain mustard going in and a quarter of a teaspoon of hot English mustard. Next goes in our sweet element in the form of maple syrup. I'm putting in about two teaspoons of maple syrup. This is how much I'm going to start with once the dressing comes together. Of course, the best thing to do is taste your dressing and see if you'd like to adjust any of these elements to make it just the way you like it. Into this goes one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil and about one tablespoon of lime juice. And we're going to add some salt and pepper to taste. And now all that you've got to do is stir that together to make sure everything is combined. Especially that little bit of mustard that we put in. We want that to break down and incorporate into the rest of the ingredients really well. And that guys is your dressing that's all ready. At this point it's a good idea to taste your dressing and see if you need to make any adjustments. I might add a touch more salt here. Now don't be like me and get too eager to pop all those ingredients into the bowl at this point. There's one little step left to make sure that these tough sturdy kale leaves are actually nice and tender and tasty to eat. We're going to massage these kale leaves a little bit. This helps make them tender as well as it ensures that all of the dressing goes into every little nook and cranny of these leaves. So I'm going to add some of that dressing into the bowl here. So a couple of teaspoons or a tablespoon worth and then I'm just going to use my fingers and drop that into the kale leaves. And I'm going to do this for a couple of minutes. Ignore any little bits of carrot and cabbage that you see here. Don't be too gentle. Go ahead and really work that in. You want those leaves to get tenderized a little. It's feeling a little dry to the touch, so I'm just going to go in with another teaspoon or so. And continue. That's a couple of minutes worth of massaging those leaves, and I think that'll be just fine. As you can see, every little area of these leaves now have a little bit of that delicious dressing that we'd prepped. And at this stage, you can go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients to the bowl. So we go in with our carrot, cabbage, some of those walnuts, the cranberries, and I'm just going to toss all of those ingredients together till they're mixed well. At this point guys, check your salad for seasoning and see if there's anything else that you need. I think this needs just a tiny bit more salt and a touch more pepper. Remember we did not season any of those veggies at the start. And if you need to, go ahead and add the rest of that dressing or as much as you need to your salad. Give it one last toss and you're ready to serve. And guys, that's how I put together my kale salad. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with family and friends that you think might enjoy it too. If you've made this or any of our recipes, don't forget to take a picture of it, post it on Instagram and tag us at The Aspiring Home Cook. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Once you do, click on that little bell icon so that you get notified every time a new video goes up. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you really soon with another delicious recipe. So till then, take care. Bye.